so this is an important class normal pdf and cdf normal probability distribution function and simulated distribution function uh, important topic for stat ap ib or your other undergraduate statistics examination we'll try and understand how we can calculate normal pd and cd function on the, a scientific calculator i'll use uh, casio 991 ex to explain this so it has a dedicated distribution many here okay and then it has normal pd and normal cd okay let me just go back to question and you can see a question here that x is normally distributed variable with mean mu is given as 13 standard deviation given as 4 you need to find out p when the value of x is 40 p probability when the value of x is greater than 21 and probability when the value of x lie between 30 and 35 so the first one is case of normal pd so i'll select normal pd function there and it asks you to be the standard deviation and your x value so our x value here is 40 i'll say 40 your standard deviation is 4 and your mean given is 30 the moment you put in these three values put equals to it equals to and it gives you the probability for the given x that is 4.38 okay so the answer of this is 4.38 if you wish to write so our second question is probability when the value of x is greater than 21 so that is a cumulative function so this time i am going to select cumulative function normal cd two and here you need to put in your lower value and upper value so the lower value is 21 the upper value for upper value we can give take any big numbers so i have taken 10 raised to the power 10 there you can just simply type 10 raised to the power 10 so that's quite a big number okay your sigma here is again given as 4 so i have taken 4 and the mean is given as 30 you can take it put equals to and it gives you the cumulative probability for the given condition that is x greater than 21 let's take another example where the we would like to find out probability when the value of x is between 30 and 35 so this is an easier one so this time we can take lower value as 30 upper value as 35 as given in question a standard deviation and mean remain the same it equals to and you can calculate the value of p similarly if you have some other function as well inverse normal binomial pd binomial cd i'll create a dedicated video for these two with different questions so please stay tuned like and subscribe so that you can get to know when i publish next video for you thank you very much have a good day bye bye